In my last bit of video I talked about the toggle layer buttons and now I'm going to talk about the, the layer sets. So here we can see we have no layer sets at the moment but what we have is just a few layers here where we could, if we wanted to change all of the settings and we can use our toggle buttons, toggle layer buttons to toggle things on and off but that's not always what we want to do. So let's create a new layer set and this can be whatever we want to Call, call this, let's call this one, uh, 1 and 2 visible, for example. Right, we just size this to whatever we want this button to be. It doesn't really matter because it isn't going to be printable. As you can see, it doesn't appear in the print anyway. So, what happens here is that I save the layer how I want it to be. So let's switch off level, layer 3 and I can now do a save of the layer set. So I've got layer set action here, save this layer set and we can see that it has saved it. Okay, so now let's bring in another one. Alright, let's bring in say let's say yeah, 2 and let's say 1 and 3 ah, oh, 3 Okay. Now this could be because we're doing a electrical layout or we're doing a drainage layout or whatever, but we want to have different things on. So let's just call this 1 and 3 for now, and I'm going to bring on 3, and I'm going to turn off 2. And in fact, I'm going to change the colour of level 1 or right, uh, layer 1. I'm going to just go and change that to remove the layer colour. So we've now got a different settings there, and I now can save that. So we've now got two of these layer set buttons, which doesn't have to be there, obviously. They could be off the top of the drawing, say, for example. Okay, And we've got them appearing here within our layer manager panel as well. So even if I'm zoomed in, I can still get to those layer set buttons. So what can I do? Well, I can uh, apply these layer sets quite easily. So I can do layer set and one visible, layer set and two visible, one and three. So there we go. We can flick between these quite easily. And the final little thing is that I've got this little shape here called uh, page title, which can be Say, so just reduce that down in size a bit, fill it how you want it to be. All right, and when you go and choose one of these, that will be showing what is your last selection because that is your drawing set that you might want to print. That will become your title. Okay, now let's show you that in real action. So, here is a, an office floor layout, and I've got four different layer sets. The first one, structure, is just showing me the building structure. I've got my toggle layer buttons over there. They are on show at the moment, but it's just for helping setting things up. Let's say I want to look at the furniture layout. I just click on the furniture layout button, layer set, and I've got the furniture layout being shown there. I want to have a look at the space usage. I just click on space usage, and now we can see that report being shown there. Go to personal locations, and we've got personal locations. For the uh, developers amongst you, there is uh, a method where you can actually, well, it's all drop down there, you can see what is being saved. It is just a, an XML uh, configuration. And if I look at the layers here, and I go and click on, double click on one of these buttons that I've got on the screen, we should see how they are being changed all at once. So this way a single Visio page has multiple views available to it with a simple click of a button and that's what Layer Manager does for you. Thank you.